So we've got a pretty cool wheel that run here today. It's a 1970 Chevy. It's got a 350 in it and an automatic transmission, crate 350 engine. Truck's pretty much rust free. On the inside, the interior's a little rough, but nothing too bad. Better than that old Nova we got running. Doors close perfectly, and there's still gas in the gas tank, and it's 20, 20 21 years old. I know the last uh, date the tag was registered was 91, and the inspection sticker up here is 96, so I'm saying it hasn't ran since probably 2000 or so. But 350 crate motor, Edelbrock carb, I don't really like them, but hopefully this one held up. And the gas in here is a little, I'd have to say it's 20 years old at least. There's probably about 10 gallons in there, five, 10 gallons around there, but we're gonna rebuild the brakes and everything on this one. We're actually gonna get this one where it stops and drives. We got an Optima battery here, oil to change the oil, brake master, wheel cylinders, some unicorn blood to mix in the gas. Got plenty of brake fluid, plenty of brake clean fuel line because we're going to put a beer keg in the back of the truck for now until we get a gas tank that goes underneath the bed but we're going to get into it and get it running so the first thing to do i guess is take the old breather cap off this thing if i can get to it well that's already loose so that's handy there we go get that off there and well there's a dirt diver nest i guess it comes with dirt diver nest let's see here well, there we go. Those came off the wrong spot. We'll work with it. Pull this down here. It says 350 turbo fire, 245 horse. Well, it ain't even got 300 horses. It does have a HEI distributor on it, it looks like. So there ain't gonna be no points on it. Either it's good or it's bad. Got the... Man. Well, the carburetor's froze up. No. Which might actually be good. Fuel lines are off of it, so that ain't a good sign. No, no, it's just they took the hose off of it and put it for that handle frog. So, I guess the next thing to do is get them dirt diver nest off there, put a battery on it, check the oil, spin her over, get some oil going through her. Oh, it looks brand new. It's all the way full. Smell, smells a little bit like gas though. That's never good. Yeah, it smells like old gas, but we'll fix that. We got some wool to put in here. I say the next thing to do is we'll take this spacer plate off. Well, we'll just leave that on there. There we go. Got that battery in there. Put that through there. Just like that. Just gonna make sure the old engine ain't locked up. I doubt it, but we gotta make sure she's in park. Well, there's the key. No gauge lights. None of that fancy. Well, let's see. Nope, none of that fancy stuff. We do have a fuel gauge. Saying we're just about empty. Well, no, we are empty. So the fuel gauge don't work. Oh yeah, we got crankage. This is gonna be too easy. There we go. This might be the easiest wheel it run yet. Let's see. Oh, it wants to run. Still not enough in there. Let's get her going. Guess we'll just pour it in there this time. That's probably way, way too much. Let's see what we get now. There we go. There we go. She don't want to stay running just yet. Let's give her some more juice. There we go. Let's see what she got. 
Oh boy. I think she's gonna run. There we go. Woo, it's a smoking. <coughs> Probably not a good idea to start them for the first time in 20 years inside your shop. Cause good Lord. Are we pushing it? So as I thought the fuel pump's bad, probably because I put that line on there so the fuel wouldn't leak out in the engine bay and I didn't want to run it through the carburetor and so far there's nothing coming out of it. Come on, come on, come on. made the same carburetor for 200 years. Oh, them are just bolts in there. Oh crap, I forget that some of them adapters are locked. There we go. I'm just tightening her down. I hope she'll run now. So I got this whole side of brakes rebuilt, the front and rear. It took forever to get that drum on there because it's a new one, but it rubs a little bit more than I'd like it to. They're supposed to drag a little bit, but it drags a little bit more than I want it to. It's still gonna work though. I rebuilt the rear one. They kind of work. I backed it up some because it's really hard to roll. But this thing right here is giving me fits, the master cylinder, the new one. I took it off again, bench bled it again. At first I wasn't going to. Then I took it off, bench bled it, didn't work. Took it off again, bench bled it, and it still didn't work. So it kind of has brakes, but not very good yet. So hopefully figure that out in a minute. The last side to do today is over here. I have to rebuild this front one. Then the rear one's gonna be tomorrow because that's when the parts store is going to get my rear wheel cylinder. And after that, I think she'll be just about ready to drive. And I am gonna put that fuel pump on there because this one seems to be a little bit weak and it just works every now and again. Cause I know the accelerator pumps good in the carburetor know we're getting good fuel so it has to be that fuel pump as the reason it's not picking up and it's dying so we'll get that done so when you see this video this truck will be running and driving but it's going to take two days to get it running and driving just because that one wheel cylinder ain't in oh lord of mercy i think that brake pad's done for hopefully that ain't pieces of it Oh yeah, it needs a new brake pad completely. Yeah, there's nothing left of this one. Yep. This one'll have to have a new pad for sure. Wow. So I got the uh, other drum on this side. I just left the pads how they were. I didn't put the new ones on yet because they're not in. But this is the only brake wheel cylinder that works the only one that gets any fluid is this side over here i believe that all of the rubber lines like right here have collapsed since they've been setting for 21 years i did order some they'll be here in three or four days but the next video we will get this thing driving we got it running in this one which is pretty good it's been setting for 21 years but we'll have them lines because the back brakes don't get any fluid either and i think it's that rubber line that hangs from the frame to the rear end so we'll get that done I bought one of these vacuum brake bleeders and that's how I know the lines have to be collapsed because it'll pull a vacuum on it with the lines open in the back and open in the front. So I know there's no 
way that it would do that other than the lines being either plugged really bad or collapsed but the truck runs really good and everything it ain't in bad shape what do you think we should do with it i'm keeping the truck but should i leave it as it is sand it down and clear coat it or restore it but the edelbrock carburetor did give up on me that's why i don't like edelbrocks this one stuck with the floats open so it floods the engine out when you turn it off but when it's running it does just fine because i guess it doesn't leak bad but the other one stuck with the floats closed and won't let any gas in so probably gonna put a different carburetor on it but that's gonna be it for this video next video we'll get this thing driving down the road and that'll be the first time it's been driving in 21 years thank you for watching and consider subscribing and leaving a like.